Welcome to this short video tutorial on putting in your road horizontal and vertical alignment using Civil Designer software. I've had a number of questions asking for a quick instructional video on how to get started. So that's what I'm going to provide now. A quick instructional video on how to get started with the road horizontal and vertical alignment. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. There are, as you know, often problems associated with doing these things quickly. Let's try and go through it in the simplest, most straightforward way. Good, so I've opened up the software onto the standard homepage for Civil Designer. I'm going to go through the process as quickly of installing my, or loading up my drawing, attaching my DD7 file and creating a road file. And I'm going to find it in here. Open, and you will see we're gonna go through the standard drawing settings. We wanna set up an A0 page. One in a thousand, okay. As we've done with previous drawings. Good, so this drawing opens up. I now need to attach my DT7 file. So let me go ahead to the roads module. See it now says roads mode, file, project settings, terrain, and I attach my DT7 file. Open. Okay. And we'll see then if I zoom out that all the points align. If I put my triangles on, you'll see that they cover my site. So I know everything is okay for now. Good. Now I need to activate a road file. So file, select road file. Road one is the one I'm going to go with for now. It's my first road. Let me go to the control panel. Road name, road one. Path. I need to create a template path so that it can design the cross-sectional elements. Click on the ellipse and select the urban single lane for our project. Open. You'll see it's named the default template and everything else looks okay. Good. We say okay. Now, you might be asking the question, what's next? Well, that's a very valid question. What is next? I need to extract the PIs, the horizontal PIs of my road. And I'm going to do that not by typing in coordinates or importing a coordinate list, but by extracting those points graphically. Let me go ahead to alignment, horizontal, graphical insert. What I recommend you do at this point is set your snap mode to grab all snap. And I'm going to start off at the start of my road and it's going to start at this intersection. There, click there, PI zero, okay. Next PI, that point over there, okay. Moving along my road center line, PI two, PI three, and at the end of the road, let's make sure I get the end of this end snap. There, okay. Right click, finish. So, what I have there is the center line road alignment from PI to PI. Now I would like to insert my horizontal curve data for these curves. So I'm going to go ahead and specify a standard curve for each of these just for the sake of simplicity you will know what your curve data is. So alignment, horizontal, edit alignment. Please, where is it? Alignment, horizontal, edit alignment. I think it's up on my other monitor, to be quite honest. How on earth are we going to get around this? I'll tell you what we do. We're going to have a quick little break here. And I'm going to get it back. Let's see if it came back. Let's have a quick look here. Horizontal alignment. Let me maximize this. Okay. Here I have the horizontal alignment spreadsheet, which came up. Let me close this. Let's do that again. No. So alignment, horizontal alignment, edit alignment, spreadsheet comes up. Notice my PIs, PIs 1, 2, 3, and 4, matching 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I'm going to specify a 10 meter, let's, let's go 20 meter radius at each point. Just like that. And I'm going to close that. Do I want to save it? Yes. 
Now the software is asking me a whole series of questions about the design process. This is called the Road Expert and it goes through all the various stages of the road design process. Um, it's going to ask you at each stage for various parameters. We're just going to go with the standard parameters for this tutorial, but you do need to spend a bit of time looking at them, making sure it's doing the right thing. So let me go ahead and click yes. Start chainage, stop chainage, provide intervals every 10 meters, 5 meters around curves. Okay. Overwrite current road layers, yes. Start chainage, cross section extraction, very important. Okay, and the software is now running the road alignment based on the template that's been provided, that urban single lane template, as well as the ground levels. Well, you might ask the question now, well, okay, that's done, but where's my design? So let's go check in the settings, display settings, roads, make sure the display road plan is selected, and then when we go to plan layout, I recommend that you change the size of the font from 10 to 2 millimeters and say OK. And there is my road alignment. Notice that the software has drawn in the banks, the cut and the full slopes, everything that's required for the final road construction. You can choose in the display settings what to display and what not to display in this particular format. For the purposes of this assignment, you are not required to show the cut and fill banks on the road alignment. So you would switch those layers off or set them not to plot. Good. Well, that's the horizontal alignment taken care of. What about the vertical alignment? Well, the vertical alignment uses very similar tools. So we go to alignment, vertical, edit alignment. Let's try that again. Okay, so we're going to go alignment, vertical, edit alignment. And then the road vertical alignment page pops up so you can see here that I'm in the spreadsheet view where I actually want to be is in the graphical view so I pull up the graphical view and pulls up the road starting here this is my road in a single gradient from start to end and these are the ground levels the blue line is the ground levels now I want to go about adding VPIs or putting in levels at various points so my spreadsheet view Turn it zero, I can set the start level to be something that I need it to be. So let's go, uh, let's say we want it to be below ground level, so we make 36.100. If I go to my graphical view, then you'll see that it's now below ground level. Let me go about putting in one or two PIs just for the sake of showing you how, the, how it works. Insert point, I'm going to make the point over here. You'll see it says change 40.343. I'm going to make it 40 because it's a rounded number. Ground elevation 38.266. That's the point that I clicked on. So I'm going to say let's make it 38.00. And say our oh, curve length. Um, let's make the curve length to be 20 meters in this case. Okay. And you'll see there it's inserted that particular curve. Now maybe let's put in another PI over here, uh, we would like it to be, let's put it over here, and we make this at stake value 100, elevation 38.3, curve length, let's also go with 20 meters in this case, so there I have another curve, now I'll put another vertical PI, I'm going to put it up over here, change 170, I'm going to make the level 46.8, sorry, 40.8, curve length, let's go with 60 meters, and say OK. And you can see I go along and create my vertical alignment as I need it. In the spreadsheet view, I will be able to change different things, levels, once I've created that vertical alignment. I'm hoping that the quick demonstration that I've done now has given you enough information to get started with your road horizontal and vertical alignment. We do, however, have to, at a later stage, address other issues. For instance, how are you going to tie into an existing road? How do you create two roads on one page or on one drawing? And how do we control the crossfall from left to right and right to left by editing our template? Now I advise that you use the user manual that was provided on the SharePoint to assist you with that process. 
If you go to the user manual and go to the roads module, you'll be able to find exactly what you need in those sections of the manual. If you have any questions, please feel free to come and see me, but please get started with your road horizontal and vertical alignment process in the meantime. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you enjoy using the software.